So the, as far as chain rule is concerned, since this is just like a practice lesson. Uh, so when you are doing the chain rule of any function of the form f of x to the power n, the derivative of this is n f of x to the power n minus 1 times f dash x. So when you're doing the derivative of this, it is going to be uh, firstly, like you can see that this is the function to the power 5. So it will be 5 times x square plus 4 over x to the power 4 in the first step and then into the derivative x square plus 4 over x. Now, when you're doing the derivative x square plus 4 over x, obviously, first you modify it as 4x to the power negative 1. And now you do the x square derivative, which is 2x. This derivative will be negative 4x to the power negative 2 because negative 2 comes down and x to the power n minus 1. So it will be negative 1x to the power negative 2. So that will be the derivative of this, which is 2x minus 4 by x square, basically. So that is going to go here. So fn fx to the power n minus 1 into derivative of this, which is nothing but 2x minus 4 over x square. Coming to the second one, uh, here, once again, it's the same thing. So n, so 6, uh, x cube minus 3x squared to the power 5 into derivative x cubed minus 3x squared, which is 3x squared minus 6x. So n, n, fx to the power n minus 1 into f dash x, if you see. Now, coming to the third one, c, you got to take these separately. So sine x to the power 3 plus cos x to the power 2. So when you do the derivative here, so n is 3 for the first part. So 3 sine x to the power 2 into derivative sine x, which is cos x plus 2 uh, in bracket cos x to the power 1 into derivative cos x, which is minus sine x. So this is the derivative of sine cube x plus cos square x. Okay, so coming to the d part, when you look at uh, ln fx derivative is 1 over fx times f dash x. So I'm going to apply the same logic here. So it'll be ln x squared plus 4x plus 3. When you differentiate, it's going to be 1 upon x squared plus 4x plus 3 into derivative x squared plus 4x plus 3, which is 2x plus 4. Similarly, now, now for e part, when you're doing the derivative e to the power fx, e to the power fx derivative is e to the power fx times f dash x. So here, the derivative e to the power sine x is going to be e to the power sine x itself times derivative sine x, which is fx here if you compare, which is cos x. So that's how I do the e to the power sine x derivative. Now, as far as ln sine x is concerned, so here fx is sine x, so it'll become 1 upon sine x. So 1 upon fx, you can see here into f dash x, which is cos x. So that's the derivative of ln of the sine x. Uh, so g question is a little complicated if you look at, like here, we have to differentiate ln x squared minus 4x the whole cube. And upon this, so you know that ln a over ln b, ln a over b is ln a minus ln b. So before you differentiate this particular question, we first apply this property. So it'll become ln a minus ln b. And so this is what we get. Our next step is to even bring it, bring three down. So it'll become three ln x squared minus four x minus ln x squared minus six x plus seven. Now, when you're doing the derivative of this, um, the derivative of this will be, um, so this part is three times ln fx. So it'll be one upon fx. So x squared minus four x into x squared minus four x derivative is two x minus four. Minus uh, the derivative of this is a one over x squared minus six x plus seven into two x minus six. So it saves a lot of time if you apply the log property. Otherwise, you have to do product rule, quotient rule, and whatnot. So from H, I, and J, these are like combined product and chain rule. Um, 
in sum you have all so let's say if i talk about y equals to x to the power of 5 ln x derivative here it's the apply product rule so this is like u and v so y is u v so dy by dx is going to be u v dash plus v u dash so it will become x q x to the power of 5 ln x derivative is 1 upon x plus ln x as it is which is v into derivative of x q x raised to 5 which is 5 x raised to 4 So it's going to be x raised to four plus five ln x times x raised to four. So if you take x raised to four common, it will be one plus five ln x. So this is the this is the derivative of the uh, h part. Now, as far as i is concerned, uh, you have the quotient rule. So quotient rule is derivative of u by v is v squared v u dash minus u v dash here. remember that the order is important that v comes first now when you're doing the derivative of ln x squared plus 4x over x uh your v is x in the denominator so x squared uh x times uh derivative of ln x squared plus 4x is 1 upon x squared plus 4x into 2x plus 4 minus ln x squared plus 4x times the derivative of x that is 1 and if you take x common and you want to cancel it out that's okay and then take lcm and all for simplification last one is the j part which is let's say y equals to uh, e to the power x cube sin x so u is this and v is sin x so it becomes e to the power x cube times cos x That's u v dash plus sine x as it is into derivative e to the power x cube, which is e to the power x cube into three x squared. So this is just a quick recap of chain rule, product rule, and quotient rule.